the Alec Glacier in Valle on a hot summer's day. About two and a half months ago, the Pro Natura Environmental Group buried a measuring stick deep in the ice here. Most of it is now exposed. This will be one of the worst years on record for glacial melt. We can assume that by the end of September, the total summer melt will be 9 to 10 meters, matching the record set in 2003. Meltwater flows down from the mountains all year round, but in summer there's much more. This is Concordia at 2,700 meters in the higher Alec region. There's been no snow here since the beginning of July because of the high summer temperatures. Without snow to turn to ice, the glacier shrinks. Even if temperatures were to remain constant for the next 90 years, the Lech glacier and its tongue would still melt by 2 to 4 kilometers. But what if it doesn't stay constant? What if it gets even warmer? Our study for the government three years ago shows clearly that the summer months will get warmer. We expect things to warm up by three to four degrees throughout the year, but particularly in summer. By the end of the century, hot summers like 2003 will be standard. So the Great Alec Glacier is predicted to shrink to only 10% of its present size by the year 2100. A helicopter ride from a large alpine glacier to a middle-sized one. This is the Outer Balchida Glacier. By 2100, it'll be long gone. When you see the 3,200 meter high glacier, you can understand why its days are numbered. Even at its highest point, there's no snow. This is the smaller beach glacier. The smaller the glacier, the faster the melt rate. The glacier here has diminished considerably over the past few years. In 1850, this here was all glacier. But if it carries on like this, there will be no beach glacier in five to ten years. Back to the Alech area. At the top of the gorge, the gateway to the Great Alech, melting ice provides a dramatic spectacle. 10,000 litres per second flow out of the glacier. About 2% of the total volume of the Alech flowed into the gorge this summer. Meltwater measurements in July 2015 were higher than any recorded since measuring began 150 years ago. We expect the water volume to increase in the Alech region by 2050 because the glacier will melt even more. Then there will be a noticeable reduction by the end of the century, especially in August and September, because the ice will be gone and snow melt ends in June or July. In the catchment area of the Raspil River, there used to be large ice and snow fields in summer. Now there are none. And there is hardly any meltwater. A tributary of the Raspil has dried up. Twenty years ago, this used to be the Plain Mort glacier. It extended over the mountain saddle. Now it has shrunk back to the other side of the watershed and meltwater only flows in the other direction. Without rain, the Raspil delivers very little water into the valley, leading to a precarious situation. For instance, in Salgesh, a village that depends on wine production. People there don't ask whether climate change is happening, but how they can combat its effects. Things have become difficult. We normally have two periods in which we can irrigate. This had to be reduced to one. The second period from July 25th was dropped. Now Salgesh has teamed up with seven other communities to build a 50 million franc reservoir to dam meltwater from snow. This will be used in summer in the valley. People here and in the surrounding communes are really hoping that this will guarantee future drinking and irrigation water. The cantonal government is also developing new strategies to ensure that in 20 years, when many glaciers have disappeared, there is still enough drinking and irrigation water to go round.